Hi everyone. So, it's been a little while since I've actually sat down to film on my normal filming camera. Um, apart from just my mobile phone. <laughs> so, yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, I wanted to sit down and film this, give you all a bit of an update, let you know how I'm going, um, let you know what's going on, uh, what I've been up to, what I plan on doing, things like that. So yeah, that's what this video is. <laughs> so uh, as you would have seen, I had an update recently and um, yeah, I wanted to kind of sit down and film something with a little bit more information and stuff like that. So there are a few things that have been going on and a few things that have impacted me as well, obviously. Um, yeah, so I'm doing okay. I'm still not 100%. Um, Health-wise, I'm still a bit meh. Uh, Voice-wise, I really want to start doing more voice recording type stuff whether it be ASMR or just some chatty kind of relaxation videos. Um, but my voice has been frustratingly hoarse for a while. Um, I kind of had this viral thing a while ago and I don't know if I was coughing too much and it's done some damage or whatever. I just can't seem to get rid of this feeling. I'm hoping it's not permanent. Uh, I'm hoping that it's something that just goes away, it could be seasonal, maybe it's my allergies, because um, I get those too. Um, but it's kind of been stopping me because, as I don't know if you can hear it, but it kind of gets a bit scratchy. <clears throat> I have to clear my throat a lot, which isn't great. Um, I need to do some research into how to clear my throat without doing that like <clears throat> kind of a thing, because I don't want to cause any damage. Um, because that's, you know, I'm interested in filming, speaking, recording. What I do for work involves me speaking quite often as well. So um, for long periods of time, depending on what I'm doing on the day. Um, so yeah, my voice is important to me. I'm also, I also love to sing. So, you know, I don't want to cause any damage to that. But, um, yeah, mentally, I'm okay. Um, I've got some things that I'm working through. And, uh, you know, we all go through it. It's normal. It's fine. It's just, there's some really big decisions, I guess, that I need to make in the next couple of months. There's also a lot of changes going on, which... Have an impact to those decisions and um, yeah I'm trying to take little bites of things here and there because I have a smaller capacity of things that I can mentally take on right now um, without it getting too overwhelming and yeah that's okay as well <laughs> so little, little things at a time as much as I can do but I guess one of the things that I've been thinking of is I'm sure you're all aware cost of living is absolutely going through the roof, skyrocketing. And as a result, I've been finding that, you know, the sensible thing is to put aside luxury items and things that aren't necessities. And one of those things for me is perfume. I'm so passionate about fragrances, perfumes. Um, I really enjoy just the experience of the perfume, looking at them, using them, trying them for the first time, just spraying them, changing my mood, wearing them through the day, wearing them at night, just, I really enjoy it. But they are still not necessities. They are still luxury items. They are still nice to have, not needs. And I think, it, it, you know, I'm always going to have some perfumes, obviously, because they mean a lot to me and um, for my you know, well-being and mental health. Yeah. Sometimes you need some luxury items and things like that. 
just pick me up makes you feel good but what I'm not doing at the moment is buying new perfumes or trying lots of perfumes as much as I want to be trying new things um, I'm not going to be really purchasing anything in the near future um, because it's just not responsible <laughs> I guess with everything else that's going on and um, some of the decisions that I'll be making will also have a big impact around that too so it comes to now where a lot of my content was perfume based and that's not really going to be an option not for new releases and this is where I'm a little conflicted it's still a passion of mine um, I will still if I can try them in store and even get a sample or just try them in store I can still review new perfumes um, which is you know I can do that I'm happy to do that because I can still give my opinions walk through the notes I can spray it and test it and um, see how I go um, other than that I can review what I've already got and provided that they're still I don't like to review discontinued scents um, because you can't go out and get them or if you can they're hard to find and sometimes can be really expensive because they're no longer uh, produced so I don't really want to be doing that I'll touch on them talk about them um, but I won't really focus on them I don't like to do that unless it's a dedicated video to discontinued scents because then if you want to watch it you can um, I still have a lot of samples and testers and all of those great things to try for scents that are still available so if it's something that you're still interested in I will still be making fragrance related content it's just not going to look the same it's not necessarily going to be the most recent new release um, because yeah I think like a lot of you you know it's a bit tough um, and you have to make decisions that work for you that you're happy with and this is just one of them for me so I still will be making perfume related content but I also I'm trying to think of other things that I want to be making content about and I've always been really interested in more, like audio content ASMR type styles voiceover stuff since I started my channel many many years ago I would get comments about how people like to listen to me speak and maybe not so much at the moment with my croakiness <laughs> but I really enjoyed hearing that and I loved the idea that something as simple as me speaking could help somebody could calm them down could entertain them to keep their mind off something bad that's happening in their life and it was something that yes it takes time and, and effort but it was something that I could do and I could offer people and it wasn't difficult it you know hard work blah 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 all that stuff but it's not difficult and I still am really interested in that um, I've still got my you know proper microphone that I use for my ASMR stuff um, I really want to do more research into vocal recording and proper software I've got a free software thing that I use at the moment just to try to balance out the stuff for my ASMR videos and remove some background noises um, so I'll need to you know look into that but all in due time <laughs> um, I recently bought like a pop filter thing for my microphone um, to try to improve the quality that way too and yeah we'll see if that makes any change um, what I was thinking is I've got a small walk-in wardrobe in our master bedroom and it's yeah it's not big it's probably like I don't know six feet deep by four foot wide so it's not big compared to other people's walk-in wardrobes um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's still big enough for me is what I'm thinking is I've got blankets that I used to hang around me on clothes clothes <laughs> clothes rails um <laughs> sorry if my voice does that and breaks but it's just going to happen 
Um, so obviously not right now will I be recording ASMR stuff because obvious reasons. But um, oh, it's so frustrating. It's and I have to not let it get to me. It it just can't force it. <laughs> so um, so I used to hang the blankets over like clothes rails. Um, and then just have them around me so I had three of those but now I've got these really heavy-duty clips and we've got shelves like one shelf in our walk-in wardrobe I'm going to clip the blankets to that and have like a little blanket box acoustically it's great because there's no echo the sounds are really good in there and it's sort of like a good space to record things in with my ASMR videos, I obviously like to use the video portion as well. Um, so it's going to look a little bit more simple for those style of videos where it's literally going to be just me sitting in a dark space. I'll have lights, but it'll be like blankets and stuff around me. Nothing fancy like that. Um, but yeah, so that's something that I want to get into and have a dedicated space for that and try to make the audio as good as it can be. And, you know, I'll hopefully get better over time. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to be looking into as well. Whether or not I end up doing more story times. Um, I, I sometimes think that my life isn't super interesting and that I haven't gone through much. But then I think of some of the things that I've done and then it might be interesting to somebody. <laughs> so if there's anything that you would like to know or like to hear me talk about, Definitely leave the recommendations or requests, um, sorry, below. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, I can try to think about what I can talk about for 15 minutes, half an hour for a video <laughs> for those. Um, or I might do a series of shorter videos, like 10 minute videos or something like that. Um, as far as other content, I don't really do my makeup that much anymore. Uh, when I do do it, it's generally for filming videos. Um, I've been using Instagram a bit more. I've been getting into audiobooks. Um, they kind of help distract me. And I've been finding them really entertaining. I used to read. And then I just kind of lost interest because my mind wanders and it's very hard for me to concentrate on reading text. Um, sometimes I get the words jumbled up. It's difficult for me to make out things. Um, I can't spell to save my life. Um, words don't make sense to me um, sometimes. Um, I'm easier to read it, but it just it takes a lot of effort and focus for me. Um, but like writing things, spelling things, I'm just atrocious. I just can't do it. Um, even simple stuff. It's just not how my brain works. Uh, but I got into audiobooks a couple of months ago and haven't looked back so I've enjoyed those I may end up doing some reviews on stuff like that so if you're interested in that let me know because um, I can do that I've got an Instagram account for that um, which I'll I'll share a few things from that on my normal Instagram account as well that way if you're interested in following me with that I, I wanted to split the content because it's very different um, it's almost like, what is it, Jekyll and Hyde kind of a thing <laughs> um, with my normal channel versus, you know, that. Um, but it is me. Uh, both of them are me. But depending on your audience, sometimes you need to be selective as to what you share. <laughs> um, but I'm always honest with you. So you'll, you'll, what you see is what you get, and that's me. Um, but, yeah, if you like that kind of a thing. You can follow me on there, um, but I can just do some reviews and stuff like that. Uh, I think that it'll still be you know, family friendly kind of content. Um, it's just the, yeah, the Instagram is a little bit different to my normal beauty perfume stuff. Uh, that's kind of been what's on my mind. Uh, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of big decisions, um, a lot of stress. A lot of anxiety uh, that I'm working through. Um, but I'm doing alright. I miss filming. 
it's just hard to think of what is going to become of the channel and the content without such a focus on new scents and new perfumes. And that's okay though, uh, it's not something that, you know, if you can't afford things, don't feel pressure to go and buy things to fit in, to keep up to date, to be current, to be the in thing or anything like that. It's not worth it. And, you know, that's just something that I'm going to be steering away from a bit more now. Um, while it, it, it is definitely still a passion for me, it is still something that I put importance off, but there's other things that are still way more important than perfume. Uh, so, yeah, I might do a review on some of the samples and stuff or go through that. Maybe do an updated collection. That way you can all see <laughs> how much it's grown since the last one and um, request a video. This was supposed to be a quick update, but you know me, it's like 15, 17, 20 minutes or something now already and I'm still talking, but I missed you all. Um, and I really wanted you to know what's going on and I'm being honest and open because I know so many of us go through this and you're not alone <laughs> and it's okay to feel these things and it's okay to have to make changes when they're necessary and it's okay to be sad about that and annoyed and frustrated and that's fine just as long as you don't spend a lot of time in that dwelling phase and that you move past that then it's okay to go through that. Um, it's okay to grieve that you need to change things and go through that process. Uh, it's uncomfortable and sometimes necessary. So, yeah, <laughs> it's more, it's, it's kind of helping me process it too. And for me to be held accountable. <laughs> Um, but I also wanted to explain if things change and I'm not buying the new perfumes and those things, that's why. It's not that I don't want to, it's not that I've lost my passion, it's just that there are things that are more important and it is not my priority right now. Um, everything else is. <laughs> uh, it's just my passion for the moment. But yeah. I'm getting a little bit more repetitive, but I don't want to film this again. I think this is this is okay. <laughs> I think it's got my point across. If you see me leaning down, um, my dog Blocky, he's down here. The other dog's asleep in the lounge room, but I'm just giving him little head scratches. So anyway, oh, that's it for me. It's like 20 minutes now, so I will let you go. <laughs> I do hope you're all doing well. And... If you've got any ideas and things you want to see, anything you want to know about me, uh, I can look to do content about that. And I'm scared and excited and frustrated and sad and happy and all of the things at the same time. So there's just a lot happening. Ah, but it's okay. It'll be okay. But yeah, at the very least, I really do genuinely hope that you're all doing really well. Or as well as you can. With everything that is happening at the moment. And yeah, hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening or morning. Whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.